Okay. Hi. Um, I don't know what part this is, but uh, since uh, Christian Prince's videos are so long, I have to break them up like this because they are they they're too they're too long to download. And uh, this video, if you're interested in seeing it uninterrupted with the uh, a series, is a uh, live debate: the weak Hadith versus the weak Quran versus the weak Allah. Uh, it's on Christian Prince's YouTube uh, video, uh, YouTube account. So, anyway, Christian Prince is a native Arabic speaker, and he's excellent at exposing Islam. So much so that I thought I would uh, make a series out of his long videos here. So here it goes here. You know what the first thing he created? The clay. Okay. So let us put a mark. Mr. Clay here. This is the clay is number one. All right. Now, and on, on Saturday, he created the mountains. This is Saturday. This is number two. What it was? The mountains. And then in Sunday, he created the trees. So in Sunday, he created the trees. This is a three. And he created, on, on, on Monday, he created things entitling labor. When? In Monday, this is the fourth day. Until now, we see no heaven. Correct, guys? Until now, we see no heaven. We have a clay. In Saturday, we have mountains. On Sunday, we have, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, trees. Uh, on Monday. And he created entitled labor in Tuesday, and this is number five. Until now, there's no, no heaven whatsoever, at all, until now. Zero heaven. And then he created the light in Wednesday. What? In Wednesday. The Muslim, they make fun of the Bible, it says that God created the, created the sun on Wednesday. <laughs> The Bible says in the book of Genesis, God he created the Bible, the, the sun in, the, in Wednesday. <laughs> Your prophet is copying. Do you see it? So the first day where Allah do anything in the heaven, it was in Wednesday. So who is the one, no one who is uh, getting busted? Allah did not create two things together. That's a lie. As you see, he started from the clay. The first thing he made is a clay, which is very funny. Allah talking about making the earth as if he's building a house, so he need a clay. You know? So there is nothing about the heaven until we arrive to Wednesday. But if you count with me again, by the way, let's do it again, one more time, just to show you how Muhammad is a false man. The first thing he created was the clay, and that was in Saturday. Then the second thing he created in Sunday, it was the mountain. Uh, hold on, let me clean this. This is a clay. This is Saturday clay. All right. And then... This is mountains on Sunday, two. And this is trees in Monday, three. And this is uh, entitling labor uh, in Tuesday, four. And then he created the light on Wednesday, five. And then he, cre he spread on Tuesday, on Thursday, he, he spread the animals in, th in Thursday. That is six. And then he created Adam in Friday afternoon. That is seven.
that is seven. And that's shown us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Is that correct? But this is now seven days. And as you see, until now, the earth is finished almost. And in the day of Wednesday, as we see in the front of us, Allah, he made the first move in the creation of the sky. He created the stars. I am sure now that Abdul, he will say Muhammad is a liar. <coughs> Muhammad is a liar. Now, is the earth was exist before the sky or the sky was exist before the earth? Let us go and see what the Quran says. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following here. Read with me, please. Actually, you know what? Why would not read the same chapter, the one we are reading from? Because this one is full of stupidity. In the same chapter, guys, before we move from it, verse number 31, it says, we are, talk, we are reading about chapter, chapter 21, verse number 31, it says, وَجَعَلْنَا فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِي أَنْ تَمِيدَ بِهُمْ So we, we placed in the top of the earth mountains so the, the earth will not move. You see the science? So Allah, He placed mountains in the top of the earth. Allah, He considered the earth is the same as a sheet and the wind will fly it. So what we do, we put rocks in the corners. So Allah, he placed mountains, read with me, and we have set on earth mountains standing firm, lest it should shake with them. Man, because of the mountains now, the earth is not shaking. I have a news for you, Abdul. Do you know how much mountains they have in Japan? Guys, anyone have an idea? How many mountains they have in Japan? Japan is full of mountains. How many earthquakes they have every day? Thousands. No, 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 not a lot. Thousands. Some they can fear, some they cannot. But thousands of earthquakes, not many. Thousands. And their land is full of mountains. Actually, the reason their land is full of mountains is because they have a lot of earthquake. Any place have earthquake volcanoes, you will have mountains. Why? Because it is the earthquake, it is the, the volcano who made the mountain happen. The volcano pushed the magma out and pushed the crust of the earth up, and that will create the growing mountain. Actually, and the mountain grow. According to the Quran, Allah He set on earth. Read with me carefully, please. According to the Quran, the mountains are placed on the top of the earth. It is not part of the earth. Do you see it? We sit on the earth. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me grab a mountain. I'm going to grab a mountain and put it in my backyard because I'm afraid that my backyard is moving. So according to the Quran, the mountains are placed in the top. Actually, in different verse in the hadith in the Quran, Allah He says, and let me show you, which is more disturbing and stupid. Unbelievable how amazing the Quran is. I'm sure many of you, oh, let me switch the language, sorry. Switch to Arabic. I'm sure many of you are jealous of this intelligence. In chapter 78, verse number 7, Allah, He says, Allah, He made the mountains like nails. The nail is the one you use them for the for the tent. If you have a tent, read with me. And the mountains as pages. Do you see it? So Allah, He 
placed the mountains. The mountains are not part of the earth. He placed it and he dig it in the ground, but it's not part of it. Allah, he placed it. After he finished the earth, Allah created the mountains. If you go back in the hadith with me, you will find the following. And that explains the hadith. Allah created in Saturday the mountains, <coughs> the, sorry, in Saturday the clay. And then he created the mountains on Sunday. So first, the earth was a clay. Then Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the clay. So the clay will be fixed, will not be moving like a belly dancer. Do you see it? We go back to the Quran. <coughs> By the way, I mean, it's amazing. Each time we go to a different place, we find we find a lot uh, uh, just like pigs. Pigs, okay, so? Abdul, so what does that mean? Is, is the mountains are created, placed in the top of the earth like nails? That's false. Science says the opposite. Now we go back to our topic. Let's go back to our topic. I'm just trying to get your, your God busted. Actually, every verse we open in the Quran, we will find many mistakes. Look, look, look here, look here. The same chapter we already read it from, 78, verse number 7, it says mountain like uh, uh, pages. And then it says, uh, in verse number 8, and, and have not we created you in pairs? What? Allah created everything in pairs. Pairs is not one pair. You know what pairs mean, guys? In Arabic, zawj, zawj is two. Zawjan is four. This will be continued in part 15? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Bye. Oh, I gotta stop it here. Yeah.